Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm going to do a top 10 for you today. My boy, Eat the Chosen One, he made a post about comic books, and I wanted to give him some here that will help bring in newcomers to comics. These are collections, you know, stuff like this. These aren't in any particular order. There's a couple graphic novels in here, but some of these are just collections of certain stories. But anyways, let's begin. Like I said, no particular order. First, Store Lord Guardians the Guardian of the Galaxy. It says the front of one of these. Not this story. These are very, very smart sci-fi stories in the spirit of Robert Heinlein stories. Yes. A novel-length science fiction spectacular in the tradition of Robert A. Heinlein. And yes, you, one thing about this is someone's going to read this. They have to be willing to put a lot of time into one story arc because these stories aren't short. They are complete story arcs. And some of them, the starter in black and white, a few are in color. And then it talks about the second Star-Lord, who I'm not sure if he's canon or not to the... Marvel comics, Star Lord. But yes, Peter Quill, Star Lord. This is where he began. Check it out. Next, a lot of people have seen the movie, but not a lot of people have read the comic. The comic is very different from the movie. It's wanted, and it's almost nothing in comics aside from character names. It's, it basically they made a movie and then just said it's based on this. But it has nothing to do with it. This is about a team of supervillains. Basically, the Avengers are supervillains, even though they're not good guys at all. They are very much all, all bad guys. They do horrible things. They kill innocent people. But it's a lot of fun to read. And one thing I find interesting is that uh, the comic ends right about... I passed it. Here. The rest of this here, that's a bunch of just other pictures and stuff like that very misleading but it's a quick read doesn't take a lot of thought definitely recommended but checking it out in humans definitely check out in humans because in humans basically think game of thrones with comic book characters and it is awesome it's very political not a lot of action there is some but it's uh, they're political stories and political fantasy stories and it's wonderful read a couple of these so far and these aren't old old at all my dad says he remembers the Inhumans so I'm guessing the humans date back for a while but you know the adventures of Black Bolt and his team this takes place before the War of Kings I think next is a Mark Miller one and I'm pretty sure this is the last Mark Miller one yeah last Mark Miller uh, kick ass I loved this movie and the comic's not bad either comic is not perfect but it's an easy read it, can get it done in about a day and it's very violent a lot of blood and gore unrealistic blood and gore and that's probably one of the problems I had with the second one is that they definitely they made the violence more weird but they cut back on the gore it's like do one or the other I guess it was they're doing do one or the other thing because they knew how weird they were going to get the violence but I'd rather they just kept the gore in and just had it over the top violence next is the Punisher Max series now as you can t tell, I'm a really big Punisher fan. I have a lot of Punisher stories. But let me tell you why the Max stories are important. Because the Punisher Max stories, this is basically, if someone wants to get into the Punisher, this is how they get into the Punisher. Because this shows the Punisher what he's all about. He's brutal. He's mean. He's vicious. He's everything. He's not a superhero. This, this shows that he's not a superhero. He's a psychopath who wants all the bad guys to basically die. And it is wonderful. This is how the Punisher should be told. Anyone who's seen the Punisher Warzone movie, I I didn't like that movie. Even I it, I like it now, but it took me four times of watching it to pardon me fully enjoy it. But this is way better than the Punisher Warzone movie. I've never seen the read the Punisher Warzone comic, so I'm not sure how accurate those two are to each other. I think it's just another one of those in name only things. But the Punisher Max needs to be read if someone wants to get into the Punisher. I like I like traditional Punisher also, but this is the Punisher people know and love. 
Next, uh, we're getting to the real stuff now. Kind of. Yes. 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 The Dark Knight Rises. Rises. Returns. Sorry. I love the art of this. Like, look at this. It's wonderful. It's great art. It, I like the style of it. And for anyone who doesn't know the plot, it's Batman, he retires for a while. It becomes a dystopia. The Joker's out of commission. Then Batman says, I can't take this anymore. It's too bad out there. Then he becomes a vigilante once again. And then, basically, him and Superman go at it. I'm assuming this is the influence for Superman and Batman Dawn of Justice. This is wonderful. This is one of the greatest graphic novels of all time. It is phenomenally written. It is well-paced, well-drawn, and I honestly cannot recommend this enough. That's not the last DC one. This is the last Marvel one, though. Age of Ultron, nothing... It has nothing to do with the movie at all. Uh, this was being written about the time the Age of Ultron movie was being written. This is really cool. It shows the different timelines and all that fun stuff of the Marvel Universe and how it affects it. I definitely recommend checking this out. It's not fantastic, but like I said, this is basically getting, getting into comics. It shows the history of Ultron. It shows the, some of the history of the Avengers. It is a really good read for someone who wants a quick get into the Marvel Universe. Alright, the last three, the last three are very important. This isn't just something I'm making up. These are some of the most important graphic novels ever. The first is The Crow. A lot of people know the movie, but not a lot of people know the comic. It is absolutely phenomenal. It is so depressing. It's more depressing than the movie, and it's also way more violent than the movie. In the movie, there it is violent, don't get me wrong, but this one has just... There's a scene where he decapitates somebody, and the scene in the pawn shop... He kills the guy in the pawn shop. It's not as though he lets the guy go. No, he's dead. The girl's also not in the comic. He, well, she, there's a girl, little girl in the comic, but she's not as important. This basically is just about the crow, about the character. And the crow in this, the actual crow, not him, he talks to him. And it's really eerie. There's, It's a horror story. It's not... There's some action in it, but it's more of a horror tale than it is an action tale. And it's wonderful. This is what inspired a lot of independent comics, and this needs to be read. It's in black and white, it's creepy, I hope they never colorize it, because if they colorize it, it will just ruin it. Back to DC, and it's... I have the one thing that I have to say about DC. Their graphic novels are wonderful. They, way, they do graphic novels way better than I think Marvel does, and I, even, and I like Marvel more, but... I think some DC graphic novels are better than Marvel graphic novels. And this is a prime example. Watchmen, and yes, it is DC. It's owned by DC. This, oh my god, this was my thing in high school. I read this, and I was like, I was blown away by how good, good this was. And I love the movie, too. I read this before I saw the movie. And... Just the way it is, it's just so fantastic how violent, how empty, how dark it all is. It is absolutely something that is needs to be seen to be believed. It is absolutely wonderful. It's such a downer story. It's such a wonderful tale, though. Everything about it works, and it. I can't recommend Watchmen enough. I haven't read before Watchmen. I haven't heard. I haven't heard a lot of good things about it, but this, this is absolutely fantastic. I love the ending. I love the beginning. I love the middle. I love all of it. Don't go into this expecting high action because that's not what's about. It's about the characters. It's about the world that's built in this phenomenal piece of fiction. I can go as far to say is that this is a piece of literature right here. Last but not least, Batman Year One. This may be my favorite of all the graphic novels of Batman I've read. I like how it shows... I'm holding this upside down, and this because I put this upside down. did not realize I'm holding this upside down. 
There we go. I gotta fix this. But anyways, Batman Year One. It is something that is it shows the origin of Batman, but not in the way that they started Batman because the original Batman was much more violent than the Batman we have today. He used to kill people in this. They never hint at that. They just He's just always trying to... He'll hurt people, but he won't kill them. And this... If you're someone's looking for an origin story, this is one of the best origin stories everyone, anyone can find. Because... And did I put this upside down again? Am I just stupid? Whatever. I can't believe I did that twice. Oh, whatever. I'm holding it like this. Live with it. This. Definitely look at this. It is wonderful. The character of Batman has never been so well done. This may be my favorite Batman story in general. I haven't read the Nightfall story arc yet, so I really can't compare. But this basically is not just an origin story of Batman, but it's also an origin story of other characters as well. I don't think the Joker's in I don't remember the Joker being in it. It's been a long time since I read this. Uh, I remember the Killing Joke. Killing Joke's really good. That's an honorable mention I can give. But definitely, if, you're go if anyone's going to read any Batman story, read this one. Because this one just flows so perfectly well. And I cannot recommend it enough. Anyways, 8. This video was for you. If you want to know any more comic book series to check out, I'll happily do another video. But as of now, those are the ones I can highly recommend getting into. There's a few I didn't talk about because I haven't read them yet. Expendation Future Bass. I have also, also haven't read the Mouse stories yet. But I will soon. I'm right now working on some of our Punisher. I'm working on some of the Punisher War Journal stories right now. But once I get done those, I'm going to finish my Guardians of the Galaxy set. I have the original Guardians of the Galaxy also. But anyways, guys, you take care. Check those ones out. God bless. Take care.